Okay, right now we're going to the assistant in pursuit of a stolen vehicle. They're coming towards us. My guess is that he's trying to get to the freeway because he'll be able to take off a little bit faster. We're going to try and get up and set up sticks. They should be coming here, right there. Do we have permission to pit when speeds allow? I'm going to pit. I'm going to pit okay, when I watch get the it, chance. Watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it, watch it. Look out. Oh. Now we got looking. Now we're looking. Blue the light at Bridgeport. We're southbound. We're going to pit. Permission to pit. Roadways are still wet. Traffic is still light. It's going to take gravelly. Got it. Whoa. He hit the sticks at gravelly, and we're southbound Bridgeport. OK, he's in the bell. We lost, we lost the tire, Mike. We're out. We're out. 424s in primary. Unfortunately, our patrol car hit the stop sticks, so it took us out. We have several units behind him, so we're going to get him. It's just a matter of time. Uh, we're in pursuit of a stolen vehicle that Tacoma initiated, and um, they got canceled, so we're continuing with it. The vehicle that we're pursuing blacked out the light, so they're driving with no lights on at this point. The first car is going to attempt to hit the vehicle, which is going to cause it to spin out. So myself and the second car will be the ones that take the driver into custody. And oh, boy, he just barely. Is he going to go? Oh, yeah, he stopped. Perfect, yes. Stand up. Your legs are underneath you. Are you counting the call for? Are you available for? Have a seat. Watch your head. Anthony, back. Anthony, back. Losing your belt. OK. The vehicle's clear with a gun in the front seat. I'll go ahead and take it and clear it. Uh, looks like they either unloaded it before they stopped or it was unloaded, but it's clear at this point, so. Nice. Looks like it, yeah. yeah. Hey, Jeremy. Jeremy, are you there? You okay? You breathing? Oh. Hey, listen up. Are you able to turn yourself around a little bit? Not to talk to you. What's that? Not to talk to you. I can't hear you. Turn the urinate up. Oh, you have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can be used against you in a court of law. You have the right at this time to talk to a lawyer and have him present with you while you're being questioned. If you cannot afford to hire a lawyer, one will be appointed to represent you before any questioning if you wish. You can decide at any time to exercise these rights and not answer any questions or make any statements. Do you understand these rights as I've read to you? No. No. OK. So are you going to be willing to talk with us or not? Okay, that'll take care of that. He's not going to want to talk. Well, in addition to the gun we found in the stolen vehicle was some dope, and it looks like it's all packaged, ready to sell, 20 bucks a piece. And I see some more over there. He had a bunch of money with him inside of a baggie. He had a felony warrant for his arrest and is on probation. So he had a reason to run, really has a lot to lose. What we're trying to do is stop undocumented aliens and disrupt the smuggling organization. I see a bunch of juveniles, possibly gambling. Pull up right here to gambling. Pull up, pull up, pull up. Watch the guy with the blue hat.
Turn over. What you running for? Huh? What you running for? I don't know. Get what, off. What's going Turn on? over. What's up? I got my hands like that, sir. Then for. He went into the little apartment. Take a slow years down. I got one so far. On 2 4 Ave. East Street, 2 4 Ave. East Street, 2 4 Ave. Just not a turning to market on the east side of the road. I'm walking back with the suspect. Stop, we're east side of the road in front of the market. Possible narcotics deal. He has some money on him. He tossed whatever he had, but he was gambling, so he got for the gambling as of right now. Sam. I'm going gambling, sir. I want to get my White t-shirt, blue pump, blue dicky pants, black scully cap, dreadlocks. He had East Long and H Street. He's gone, but I got the other suspect. Sir, I want to get me, sir. I just came up there. You can ask him about up to the store. They say somebody was shooting. That's why I ran. I ain't got nothing. I'm trying to tell him. I'm going to hit him. Come on, man. So what you got me for, sir? Resistance for right now. Oh, they said something I was shooting. That's why I had ran. I don't want to be getting hit by no bullet. Something got in custody. He's going to take a ride. Make sure you uh, double check his pocket. OK. We got to pick up the evidence. That's the dice and that's the money. I guess he's a lucky winner today. Always watch their hands. You see, he tossed the dice and he grabbed his money. Always watch their hands. Pull into this. Let's double check and make sure there's no uh, tossing any dope around here anywhere. <sighs> okay. Well, that's it. We're gonna book him back. Take him back and book him. Right now, we have been gambling and resisting arrest without violence for fleeing on us. Okay. All right. I'm trying to tell you, sir, straight up and down. Hey, this guy here. I, I, I watched right. calls, sir. Okay. I watched calls. All right, sir. What's your first name, sir? Jason. Mr. Sir. Jason. Why did you run from the police? Because somebody said somebody shoot. That's my truck over there. The gold okay. truck on the car wash right. man. My so truck you... is right over there, sir. All I right. swear to God. Ex explain this to me. You're standing over. Guys are throwing dice. You I have was... money in hand. You grab the money with the cops. You took flight. Sir, can I talk to you for a minute? I just had came out the laundry mat. When I came up there, they say somebody shooting. So I just broke out. I just came to watch some cars. That's my gold truck right over there. So why did, if you just, go, why did you run? Because I think somebody's going to shoot a rod, man. You see a, I'm not in that league, sir. You see a police officer in uniform. That's why I stopped, sir. That's why you stopped? No, you kept on running. Because, because and because I had to take you down because you wasn't going to stop. Are you still were struggling when you were trying to cuff you? No, I was struggling. I was trying to tell y'all what's going on. They act like they were shooting. That's why I was trying to tell you. They said okay. somebody was shooting. Why you have a, a lot of money in your hand? That's that's the money I just bought some cars for, sir. Standing around a bunch of guys throwing dice and you hold the money in your hand like this betting. I just, they just paid me for the car wash, sir. They were paying you for the car wash over here? This, that's my, my truck over there right across the street. Showing All right. right, right, for, there, sir. For, right humor, there. humor me for a second. I'm telling you Are the any truth. cars here getting washed? You're standing right here collecting money, but there's no car but a squad car. How are you washing cars? I just had washed two cars. They got the cars on the next one. And week, you had sir. to walk over here and collect it from while they were yeah. gambling. Don't right, thing right there. Right, Everybody right, up here can tell you I washed cars. I've been, I've been out here since this morning, All right. sir. Unfortunately, you're going to take a ride to jail for right now. You're going to get charged with gambling and resisting arrest for running on us without violence, OK? Gambling? I wasn't gambling, sir. sir. I swear to God, I wasn't gambling, man. I tell you no lie, man. I charge 20 dollars for cars and 25 for trucks, man. I'm just going to do the white car right there behind yeah, nice. you, sir. So what's this doing there? What's this? That's not mine. I'm keep trying to tell you, sir. That's not mine, sir. OK, unfortunately, sir, you're going to get charged, OK? You're charging me with nothing, sir. I'm being honest with you. You told me to be frank well, and honest you. But you're not being honest. That's what I'm saying. You were standing, you took off running. You okay. pulled up right here. I was already around the corner. I was at the corner right there, okay. sir. That's okay. when they said somebody All right. shooting. We're going right around the circles. Are you sticking to your story? Stand for. Okay. Is, uh, I'm telling the truth. I wasn't getting All right. We will see in court. Okay? Put your feet in. Stand for. We're going to go stake out an area. Uh, supposedly, one of our witnesses here has said that his friend, who's just freshly stolen a car, is coming to pick him up. So we're going to wait in the area. As soon as he picks him up, we're going to try to swoop in and snatch him up. Yeah, we have a car right now. He's on the front side of the public plaza right now. Coming out on okay, our air unit's following the uh, the suspect vehicle right now, and we're going to hang back a little bit so as we don't spook him. We're kind of waiting to see where he parks, and we're going to try to get up on him. All right, guys, he's going to the uh, west side of the mall, west side of the movie theater right now. Anybody got the mall entrances with stop sticks? All right, he knows that he's parking. What do you want to do? All right, he's moving in. He's at Sears, south side. All right, they're taking him down right now. 2651. Want me to orbit? Can I yeah, orbit? Yeah, hold what you got, yep. I'll hold what I got. 721 from the north side. All right, he stopped. He's running right now. He's running. 
Any guns, knives, bombs, or anything else on your person right now? No. Yes or no? no? Where's the other guy in a black shirt? I didn't see another guy. Was there another guy with you? No. What? Who? No. What's your name there, partner? What? Josh. What? Josh. Josh? Yeah. We're going to stand up. You understand me? You ready? Get up. Okay, turn around and look at me. Hang on, hang on, guys. Hang on. Is your car here? Have a seat there, partner. What exactly was going on today? I don't know, it's been a long day. A long day? What was the deal with the car and the running and all that stuff? I was being chased, so I ran. You were being chased? Who was chasing you? A great car. Well, not chasing me, but it was following me. Uh-huh. Why, uh, wh why'd you think they were following you? I didn't think so at first, then I knew he was. Uh-huh. At first, I wasn't sure if he was, and then... So you just, uh, I wasn't what? planning on running, it just ended up that way. This is a long way to go to not plan on running. Josh, look at me. What is going on? Nothing? Okay. Um, basically, at this point, we're going to bring you up to the precinct, and uh, our detective's gonna talk to you a little bit. And uh, we're going to get to the bottom of this. I, I assure you, whatever's going on, we're going to uh, get to the bottom of all of it. So you up there? Okay, so this is stuff you already got out of the uh, out of the car. Yeah. yeah. Where? This was uh, in the back seat. This was in the front seat. Okay, so we're probably looking at somebody's stolen stuff and these uh, radios. I don't know if you guys heard about it on your shift, but we had a bunch of uh, car burglaries in the mall where they've been using these two-way radios. That's we managed right, to right. get on one of their frequencies and listen to them. We weren't able to catch them. So it looks like this is probably at least one of the two guys that were doing that. So this is, this is a good hit for us because we get this guy with a stolen car. We get all the property, and it looks like we probably have solved the, uh, the, the car burglaries here. Everybody, Law and Crimes Jesse Weber here. I think it's pretty obvious from how wild Cops Reloaded is that the world isn't always the safest place. Well, that is why I wanted to highlight our partner and proud sponsor of Cops Reloaded, Morgan and Morgan. You know, from watching this show, one of the most unsettling things in life is if you get hurt. You don't know what to do. You don't know where to turn. Well, Morgan and Morgan is actually the largest injury law firm in America. I mean, 3 million people call them every year. They've completely modernized the process to make it super easy for their clients. How? Well, you submit your claim, you sign contracts, you upload documents, you talk to your whole legal team all on your phone. That's it. An attorney is going to review your case in just eight clicks. That is incredible to think about how quickly you can submit a claim and have them fight for you. And in terms of price, you only pay them if you win. There's no upfront fee. So if you're injured, you can submit a claim at forthepeople.com slash cops reloaded or by dialing pound law. That's pound 529 on your phone. We're waiting right now to assist another officer. He's got a subject in custody that's starting to resist arrest. We're going to go check it out and see if he needs assistance. Hey. Hey, man. Hey, relax. Relax. Stop. Stand up. 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 Hey, relax, relax. Just one, just one guy get on his back. Like, put your knee on his back right there. There you go, that's good. Just sit him right there. Sit him right there, dude. I don't need a mask. I'm not spitting. 
Oh, no, so talk to Phil Torsley. You will talk to one after you go sit down in the back of the car. Do you oh. understand? Oh. Hey, listen, listen. You, oh. Listen to me. Stop. Hey, oh. Tom, you put Stop. Me What's your name? Stop. What's your name? My name's Mitch. Don't get money. His knee on my rib. Listen, when we let you up, you have to be cooperative. You're going to go on the ground again, and you're going to stay there for a lot longer. Do you understand? Yes or no? OK, let's get him up. Be good. Be cool, man. Be cool right here. Thanks, sir. I'm take off the mask. I am thank not you. spitting. Relax, I relax. Do not relax, 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 hey, relax. sir? Sir, I'm going to take care of you, OK? But you got to relax, I do not all right? deserve a mask. Let's have a seat right here. Right in there. Oh. Have a seat. Just take it easy, relax. No, hey, I want your... Watch your head, watch your head, watch your head. All right, all the way in, seatbelt. You gonna be good? Yes. Can you close this? I have this? no right for the mask on. Close that uh, window right here. I have no right for the mask on me. Cool, man. All right. Uh, we stopped him up in front of one of the bars up here. Uh, come to find out that he actually had a warrant uh, out of the city, so we were bringing him back down here. As we were bringing him back down, he got belligerent. And closer and closer, we got to the car, he got more belligerent, and then finally refused to walk. No, 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 no. No, no. Close the door. He's trying to, he's going to kick the window. We don't have hobbles, so okay. take it right now. He if he starts kicking it, if he starts kicking it, request hobbles they and sit right there, okay? The city. The city? Yeah. Yeah, no. Mitch. No, I have asked. Mitch, don't kick the door, dude. He won't make Don't kick one. the door. Unless don't you get it. a Phil Sark knocks off you right okay, now. Okay, we'll get one going. We'll get one and going. And the two officers that Listen, arrested up. me. Sit up, sit up, bro. Sit up. No. Nope. Sit up. No. Nope. Come out. I won't talk, talk to a Phil Sark knocks. You move, you're going to get sprayed. You makes me all fight the out of you. Don't try to hey. fight me. What's up? Hold my hair, I tell you. It's what? Hey, it's all the on the court. Okay. Do hey, it. Fuck, hey, we're turning this back on, okay? Listen to me. Listen He's going to try to fight you, bro. Don't. Don't. He's going to rip That's, that's rip why. Mitch. Hey, Mitch. No. Don't. Mitch, stop it. Jeff, we're going to pull Mitch. him out. He's trying to bite us and all that. Hey, that's OK. We'll take you like this. Come on, dude. Come on. There you go. Mitch, come on, dude. Don't bite. Mitch, stop biting, dude. Don't bite me. Come on, dude. Like, Come on, dude. Like hey, you know what? Watch Come this. On. Hey, you guys are having military. Come on. Military lawyers, Come watch. On. Yeah, do that. That's good. That's good. Make sure you tie the knots when you get there. No, 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 no. No, no, no. 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 No, no, no. No, no, no. 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 Mitch. Mitch, don't do it. Stop doing you don't know it. Don't... Calm down. I'm still acting Calm in the military. Down. Open it. Leave it open. <laughs> Grab him! Dude, would you chill? No! Mitch, listen, listen, calm. I asked Dr. Calm. Phil Sergeant and the two Mitch. officers that arrest me Mitch. for the badging name. Calm, man. calm. No! Calm down. No! Yeah, Stop hey, trying to bite us and fight us. Relax. He's good. Are you good? Yeah, his feet are down at the bottom. He's good. Listen, Mitch, I gotta shut the door, bro. I will see your ass. Get your head in there. Mitch, please relax. Don't bite that. Look what you're doing. Why are you doing that? Mitch. Mitch, calm listen, down. the sergeant's on his way. Can you please just get move your head in the car so we can get the door shut? No! We're gonna shut it either way. We want to do it the nice way. Okay. Mitch, we really don't want to do it by force. Okay. I don't want to Listen, I wasn't there. Remember that. Okay, I wasn't there. Now, I just got here, and I want to try and talk to you. All I would like for you to do is so I can talk to you. Then I'll sit up. Okay, all right. Fine. Finally. Get him out of here. We got the gate. All right, I'm going to move these gates, stop traffic, so these guys can take this guy to jail. There he goes. We're responding to a uh, domestic disturbance between two transients that live here in the city. They are a uh, constant nuisance. They're always drunk. And supposedly, they're going to be running out in traffic. I guess they've been dealing with them all week downtown in the city. 15, I'll be out with them on the uh, east side of the Amato Center. East side of Center. Sammy, what's going on? Heard you were fighting with your girl. Spaghetti, we got pot. 15, go ahead. Sammy, what's going on, bud? I want to get out of here. How much has she had to drink today? <laughs> How much has she had to drink today? I don't know. What's her name? Eat or drink. Uh, is she a uh, patron here, or is she a patron here? We just, we just finished eating. Okay. I want to go to Las Vegas. I need my inhaler. Go get your inhaler. 
<laughs> smoking. I got to get out of here. <laughs> You're, you're lying on the ground in a very because nice restaurant. Those people are smoking and I need my inhaler. I just want to get out of Marianne, town. Get up. Let's well, walk sorry. to the sidewalk. Let's go. Let me get my purse. He's I got it for you. Inhaler. Wait a minute. It's in my fish kit. Let's go to the sidewalk and look for it. Maybe if she's just drunk, I'm, that'll, uh, you know, if she cools down at the station for a couple right. hours, Let's go that'll to the help. Sidewalk. She doesn't drink. She doesn't drink. You said she drank something today. No. All right. Sammy, you going to take care of her? Yeah. Come on. Oh, he's going to take care of me? I got all you the want money. To take you want to take care of you? Oh, I don't want to go to jail. All is right. that a clock? You it want is. You take care of you or them take care of you? It's up to you. Why don't you go with your husband? You'd rather go with Sammy than us, wouldn't you, any day? Give me a kiss. Well, let's say he picked me, but you, I don't want to get by you. Let's yeah. go. Uh, all right. Bye-bye, okay, Marianne. Sammy, the bus station's over this way. <laughs> well, <laughs> the, she's so up and down with her moves. No, don't jaywalk. <laughs> oh, is she going to get in the car? I won't do that. Don't worry, I wouldn't take your car. Sit down. Sit down. Come on. Come on. We, she was just kidding. Come on, you guys. We were leaving right now. Let go. Oh, that's all it took Sammy, you guys. Sammy, can we find out what's going on? Come on. See, we were just kidding, you guys. Oh. Sammy, behind your jump. back. For now. Sammy, come on. All right. Yeah. Tell Feel the tell you. Husband and wife thing. Oh, Family man. night at the jail. It's right. raining men. Hallelujah. I'm not a lesbian. Is it, is it vodka that sets you off or what? Sit down. No, the police do. Oh, Sit down. She was just you know, try to watch your language. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down and shut up. Marianne, what? you need to calm down right now, okay? You need a new hairdo. Uh, come on. I you need a new hairdo, no, you're okay. Right. You're not drunk. Let me see your eyes. We're not drunk. Minutes. She's not drunk. Follow Neither back and mom. forth. There you go. Good. Don't move you. Um, keep it out there for a while as we go back and forth. Who's the governor of the state? Uh, Arnold, that Austrian. I'm going to impeach you. All right. Sammy, let's go. Go ahead and get up. Go, let's go. Yeah, you let's can go. go. Come on. We're going to go for a couple yeah. hours. 72 hour hold. Wait a minute, I'm on my food. Sit down for a second. Okay. Sit down. Do We're gonna figure this out. Oh, you stepped on my foot! I have a broken Shh. toe! Shh. Nail. Do you wanna like get out of this situation? Yeah. You do? Are you gonna act like an adult if I let you go? I am an adult. I'll be 50 in January. Okay. You need to act like one, that's the difference. I've known you for a long time, you've been cool with me. You're a little bit drunk today. We've got to you, you gotta go to the station and dry out. All right, Sammy. All right. So what are we gonna do with her? He's the main instigator for the whole situation. Yep. He's, he's completely drunk. He always she, she doesn't really meet our requirements to take her out to the hospital, I don't think, for this situation. She's just very boisterous, likes to make a scene, as you can hear yeah. in the background. So I mean, yeah. it's just, we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and cut her loose. All right. Okay, Marianne. Marianne, behave yourself. Please be good, okay? We don't want to get called on you again tonight, all right? Don't worry about it. Right. Right. All right. Street acting like that anymore. Okay. Not even any. You're a sweet person. We don't want to see you getting hurt. You're going to get in trouble. You do that again. So nice day, okay? Okay. Bye, hon. Have a good night. Hopefully this will resolve it. Yep. We don't have any more. The apartments up here on our left are uh, some apartments that we have a lot of problems with. They have a lot of hand-to-hand -hand drug transactions, and uh, we're just going to go in and see what's going on. The guy to our left is got, going through the parking lot. He's driving with his headlights off, trying to pull him over. 325-1050. Just stay in the car! What's going on, man? Hey, man, man. You got your driver's license on you? Your registration hey. insurance? Hey. Say what's up, man. Sheriff got my license. Sheriff got your license? Yeah, so I know who I am. They looking for him. They pulled off with me. Okay, so you don't have no license? I got my papers from my license. So you don't have a license, though, yes, at I all? Do Is have it suspended? A no, it ain't suspended. Okay. Show me what you got that says what, who you are. You got any ID on you, man? I was going to the house. We live out here. You don't have nothing that says your name on it? No, sir. Hey, what the problem is, bro? You're going through the parking lot with no headlights on, man. No, I was just putting it right there because I'm finna get my laundry out of here. All right. Well, you still got to have your head... You still got still to have your headlights on, man. Yes, sir. All right. Everything's cool. No problem. All right, man. I'm just saying... What's your name, man? I'm tired of being What? What? 
All right, guys, hang tight, all right? Don't get out of the car, just stay where you're at, all right? Hey, passenger, go ahead and shut your doors for me. Hey, Adam, I smell marijuana inside the car, so we're just gonna get him out. Front seat passenger, come on back here for me, all right? Come on back here. Put your hands on the car for me, okay? Is there anything illegal that's gonna poke, prod, or anything like that? Down on the ground! Down on the ground! Down on the ground! Oh, I was missing the first one. Brevard, I got one fight. All the way down. Hands out straight. Driver, get your hands up on the steering wheel right now. Okay, stand up. Stand up. Okay, stand up. Why'd you do that for, man? I thought I was just gonna grab my and I didn't do anything. I wasn't gonna do anything, man. You did all that for a little bit of weed, man. Can we get him locked up, Moose? Yeah. He's got uh, dope in his front left pocket. Okay, let's get oh. that out. Come on back, buddy. Put your hands on the car for me. You understand what's going on tonight, though, right? I don't understand. I don't really want to know. All I want to know is that, you know, I ain't by hand. He's my own boy. So I've been in prison, not like that school. So. I know what you're saying. I know what you're saying. Uh, I did wrong by yeah. not having my license. You I'm know not. what I'm saying? Right. And my own boy no man did really dog. That's a jitty bug right there for yeah. one thing, man. Well he one definitely thing. earned he's definitely earned a trip going to jail now. I mean So why you, you know, got the other dude with handcuffed though? Because I don't I didn't know why it was running. I didn't know if they had guns or why what was going on, why he took off like that. Man, so we're just a little bit of weed. Hey, yeah, we like my sergeant's got a real good rapport running, with, with the driver. He's been a little bit uncooperative, but uh, he's also been in a lot of trouble in the past, so get everything settled down get before we cut them loose there. here. Yeah, hey, this is just a warning, all right? Yeah. It's not gonna affect your insurance, not gonna affect your license. Appreciate your cooperation tonight, okay? Yeah. That shows yeah. a lot for you, okay? Right. Have a good night. Thanks. All right, sir. There you go. Thanks, sir. How are you? All right. You okay? Yeah, sorry about that, sir. Why'd you run for, Terrence? I don't know, I was just being stupid. Just being stupid? Tonight you're gonna to be arrested for marijuana and resisting arrest without violence. Okay. All right. Okay. All right, buddy. We just found out he's had a $50,000 warrant for his arrest, shooting into an occupied dwelling. This is over Dodge Magnum. It's taken off on me. It doesn't have any license plates. We have one that's stolen on the hot sheet. It's an 07. He's taken off uh, down this residential street. Hopefully he's gonna run into another officer. Requa from Park. <laughs> Trying to catch up to a silver Dodge Magnum. We're attempting to catch up to a stolen vehicle, high rate of speed. All right, 128, myself and uh, 173 are pursued. It's going to be the stolen Dodge Magnum. We're uh, westbound on Requa, crossing Monroe. He just blew the red light at uh, Monroe, and he's foot bailing. He's bailing out of the car. 81860, white shirt, khaki pants. Your white shirt, khaki pants. Go right towards you. Go He's running northbound towards the pool center complex. Get on the ground now, down. Hands behind your back. Hands behind your back. Sorry. Sorry. 28, code four, one in custody. Tuck your leg under you. 
Oh. 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 Huh? I was gonna shoot you with the taser. It's a good thing you went to the ground, because that would have hurt. But I appreciate you cooperating. How old are you, man? Way too old. Sir. You on probation or parole? I'm on probation. What for? For, um, for, um, oh, for sales. For sales? Yeah. Yeah, I'll walk him out to the shade. Hang on, let me make sure you get nothing on you, and then I'll let you stretch. You got nothing, right? No. Sit up. All right, just relax. You guys are probably doing me a favor right here. Swear you say you're from Orange County? You know I was going to stop you when you saw me turning around, huh? It's a problem, my man. That's a stolen vehicle. But I'm sure you know that already. I bought it off somebody on the streets. I know I'm, st I'm better than that. That's a 07 Dodge Magnum. You better paid like 30 grand for that. I know. Go ahead and fold this knee in. Well, man, you're going to get the help whether you wanted it or not. You know what I'm saying? He hasn't given up his name, says so he's on probation for dope. Sales. Well, that car's been on our uh, hot sheet for about a week now, and we've been looking for it. When I saw it in the downtown area, initially it didn't have any license plates on it. When I made the U-turn to catch up to it, they started blowing stop signs. At that point, I kind of realized that was probably going to be the stolen car. This is what you're going to be charged for, Robert. In addition to your violation of probation, you'll be charged for driving a stolen vehicle, possession of stolen property, leading police on a pursuit, and then running and resisting. You understand? Sorry about that. Man. OK. Hey, um. Take thank care of you, yourself. Man. No, thanks, man. All right. Man, he quickly surrendered. He petered out pretty quick. I had him at once at Taser Point. He turned, slipped, and then I went ahead of him north, and he came right at me again, and then he gave up when he saw the Taser. He's trying to give me the story that he he just bought this car, and I'm like, well, it's a 07 Dodge Magnum. Would you pay 30 grand? He goes, oh, man, I know I'm stupid. I messed up. As soon as we came around the corner, he was jumping in bail and left this car in gear and was out on foot. So he's ultimately just begging for help right now. He's got a drug problem, he says. He's on the probation for sales. It's a good chance that he's probably going to go back to prison. So at least the car's not crashed. It's in one piece. It's in good condition, and nobody got hurt. Black male fighting. Right at the note of any weapon. All right, we're going to a fight call. Uh, there's some people fighting in the middle of the street, and uh, looks like there's a group over here. One of the guys got his shirt off, and looks like he's involved in the fight. So we're going to go uh, talk to him, see what's going on, and make sure everybody's OK. This is Lombardo Spigo, right? Yeah, this is it. I think they went southbound. That one kid has his shirt off. We'll go talk to them. Hey, hold up a second, man. Okay, don't walk away like that. Hold on. Hey, hey. But they, that's still not okay, me. Okay, no, no, no. You need no, to... that's not, that's still not me, bro. Fight six five one foot pursuit northbound on us. We go from Thursday and blackmail shorts. Please deploy, not effective. Stop! You're under arrest! You're under arrest! You're under arrest! Five six, five six five, we got it. Stop! Stop resisting! Hold on, your cord's stuck. Try me. Try me. Stop Are you gonna stop resisting? resisting? Are you gonna stop? I'm not resisting. Stop resisting. Stop resisting. I got, I got, I got this you one. Got it? Right. Help me from getting the wall. Roll him over on his stomach. It's not me who you're using for. Him. Let go, Hazer. Hazer. I'm not doing Let anything. Let go, I'm going to smack you. I'm not doing anything. Watch out, watch out. Get him. Get him. Ah. Get him. Ah, you guys in me. Get him. Oh. Get him. Get your arm behind Get your back. Get your arm behind ah. your back. Ah. Ah. You're hurting me. Put it behind your back. You're hurting me. Get his other arm. Get his other arm left. Ah. You're hurting me. I'm not doing anything. 
Stop, 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 stop resisting. Hey, watch stop resisting. resisting. Are you high on something right now, man? Just let go, all right? Put your hands behind your back. Relax. You're hurting me. You're not going to get hurt if you just relax, you all right? Hurt me. Relax. You already hurt me. There you go. Just put your hands behind. There you go. Just relax, man. I'm not the guy. Yeah, you are. Relax. I'm not relaxing. Relax. Relax. I'm relaxing. You relax. We can take care of our business. It's true. It's easier. It's not a lot of fun. He's high on something. I don't know why he's high on nothing, man. All right, we got we got initial inventory, so we can get him up. Ready? Yep. Pull your knees towards your chest. Who you need to Somebody on the scene that the killing's worth called. Who you need to touch? Tucking your shoes. You can get up, dude. You got me in restraints. I haven't even grabbed my rights. Hey, Robert. 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 You haven't even grabbed me my rights. Robert. You're the right to remain silent. Too late. Can you say? I'm already in restraints. Doesn't matter. We're not asking questions. We're giving you directions. I'm already in restraints. I'm already in restraints. Pull your knees towards your chest. I'm already in restraints. Pull your knees towards your chest. Otherwise, we're just gonna pick you up. You're arresting me for telling me what I'm not. Sorry, Bob. Sir, you shouldn't be resisting arrest. I'm not resisting arrest. What am I being arrested for? Disorderly contact, escape, fail to bail off order a peace officer or interfering with a peace officer is more commonly known. You're also under arrest for resisting arrest presently. You have a revenue my rights. Would you like to hear your rights now, sir? No, you're too late. All right. You have the right to remain silent. Anything you say can will be used against your court of law. Too you have late. the right to attorney have one present. Too late. I have a, anything. You if don't you know nothing, man. If you can't afford to hire an attorney, one will be appointed for it you. It doesn't no matter. Parts. Do you understand these it rights, It doesn't sir? matter. No, you're too late. You, you put me in restraints and, and cuff me without reading me my rights? We don't have to read you your rights. Yes, you do. You, you got to well, read me my sir, rights. I'm sorry if you think that that's the way the law works. That I is. know how the law works. All right. It is our guy from earlier. He might have run because he's also wanted on an assault two deal and a fail to register as a sex offender. So that's probably why he took off. And it, it's him. I mean, he's got a pending assault two case on him that they need to interview him. Detective Sport. He's got a warrant for his arrest. He currently has a knife assault and is sitting in a gray 2002 F-150 that's parked in the driveway. One of my B partners is at the attempt suicide right now. He is at. Uh, on scene with the subject. The subject has a knife in the car, and we're rolling to uh, 311 reference uh, the pepper ball. Give us minimum. Okay. Turn around for me. You want to put your hands behind your back. Walk backwards. Keep walking. Keep walking. Three or fifteen, we're gonna be code four on sand Hold on, hold. Don't, hold on. Don't, don't. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back. Put your hands behind your back, now. Put them behind your back. I'm not gonna tell you again. Get down to your knees. Get down to your knees. Now. Oh my God. Put your hands behind your back. No, you know what, go down your stomach. Go down All the way. Stomach. All the way on your stomach. Down your stomach. Just come up and push him over. Come up and push him over. <clears throat> go down to your stomach. Go down to your stomach. Put your hands down. Put your hands down. Put them back. Put the other one back. Put your hands behind your back. Put the other one back. Now, put the other one back, you're going to get sprayed. Put the other one back. 15, we're physical right now. Just hang on. Give me another cuff. All right, 15, we get the cuffs on him, we're code four. No hard feelings, all right? Where's your knife? Feet. Okay. You wanna go look? Yeah. I just want attention. Just want attention? Yeah. Well, you got it. I got it. Yeah. Hey, guys. 
Uh, did he threaten anybody with a knife or just walk out with it, or I what happened? He just walked in, and then when I seen him, he just got into the truck. Okay. And then that's when I was trying to talk to him. I said, you know what, just give me the knife and go inside and go to sleep. Nobody's trying to argue with you. Okay. But he wouldn't listen, and he started pounding. So I told my brother, you know what? He started pounding? Like pounding on the chair, you know? I don't okay. know what the knife or I don't know what. I okay. See. He just wanted to leave him in the truck. Yeah, and we don't want him to because either he's going to hurt himself. It's understandable. Well, what's going to happen is uh, we'll, we'll, get him, uh, we'll get him down to the hospital and we'll get him evaluated. Um, is anything going on right now in his life? Uh, any kind of death in the family? No, I no, just, I'm, I'm thinking it's just like a lot of stress, like bills wise with this okay. house maybe. All right, thank it. you guys. All right, Jose, is there a reason why you're fighting with us? No, I was just fighting. Felt like it was time to go or what? No, no, no. Okay. All right, no problem. My partner explained to you what's going to happen, right? No. Okay, well, what's going to happen is we're going to take you down and get you evaluated, okay, with what's going on, all right? You got a lot of stress on you right now? Yeah. Okay, all right. Well, that's what we're here for, man. We're here to help you, okay? So next time, don't fight with us. Just just go along with us, okay? I'm fighting. That's okay. Don't worry about it, all right? It, it happens. Right. It happens, okay? okay? We don't take it personal. We're just here to help you out. That's all we're worried about, okay? okay? All right. All right, you're not uh, under arrest. Okay. All right. Okay. You, the, the left one is a little bit too tight. Okay, right? we'll, we'll get you as soon as we get you up here, okay? okay. Come on, pull your knee in. There you go. Uh-huh. Ready? All right, we'll get you in just a second, okay? Just stand up against the car here and we'll get you. This one right here is too tight. All right. I'm sorry, guys. Am I better? Yeah, thank you. All right, try to have a seat in there best you can, all right? Watch your head. We'll get him some help and uh, hopefully he'll be doing better with his life. It's pretty good size for Mardi Gras. They're just out here to have a good time. It's a very large crowd of people and all that. Excuse me, so I got him. Uh, uh, the gentleman, one of my security guys at the front door just informed me that uh, they got a gentleman in there kind of put blows in somebody's throat. All right, all right. We'll go to the front. Saying he's trying to offer people to put these in their drinks. He said he can go back to the hotel and stuff. I got it. I'm all in. Put your hands on your head. Come here. Why did I not listen? I mean, honestly, I had too much to drink. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Sit down. Fold your legs. Fold your legs. Like Indian. Sit like an Indian. Sit like an Indian. Sit like an Indian. Now put your hands on top of your head. Tell me what he was doing. He was standing there in front of the stage, kind of like drunk like, you know. Two of the two uh, ladies walked up and said, This guy's got poison in his hand. He's trying to put him in our drinks. Can you go get him? I walked over there, I felt his pocket, and uh, he said, What are you doing? I said, I need to search you right quick. I just step outside. I went in his pocket and I pulled out the pills. What pocket did you take the pills out of? Out of his left pocket. Okay. The bartender saying that he was trying to put these pills in women's drinks and trying to get them back to the hotel room. You don't drug women, all right, I'm not to have sex. I mean, that's pathetic. I can get right? sex on my own. Yeah, I saw that. That's why you, they had a, those three or four pills in there. You put them, trying to put them in drinks. I know. They were, right? They put, quiet. They were for me. All right? This guy is trying to... You know, whatever his concept is, as far as trying to get advantage over women by uh, slipping an unknown substance in their drink, that's uncalled for. All right, we're going over to Fat Cats right now because there's a fight going on. Stand up. No. Stop the spinning. You hear me? Stop the spinning. Yeah, we had an altercation.
in case you want to establish here. The security personnel for the establishment apparently ejected this man. He started an altercation with him. During the course of his uh, detention, he began spitting on everyone, spitting on the police, spitting on the other officers. It is, in this day and age, we don't know what type of disease or anything else this man may be carrying, if he's an AIDS patient, anything like that. He's got to immediately subdue him as best as possible. We covered his mouth and put a shirt over his head trying to keep him from spitting on everyone else. And, and now he's trying to butt his head up some... against the wall. You're not going to reach it, Slim. You might as well relax. I went to college, and I bet you know who went to college. All right? Stupid cop. You don't know what the, the cop. Yeah, go ahead. Tell us your match. Stupid cop. It looks like if it stays like this, this humidity, these people have been drinking all day. Everything starts kicking in, that alcohol starts kicking in, we start getting challenged. Everybody wants to be a star. All right, it's just about 12 midnight. This is the beginning and the end of the Mardi Gras season. We have our command staff uh, in place. Pretty soon we're going to go down Bourbon Street, take the streets back in New Orleans for the Mardi Gras season.